How often do you think about math while you're driving a car or riding a bus? Though we don't see it or feel it in our everyday lives, math can help us understand and solve many important problems. The equation in the rearview mirror, for example, can help us design self-driving cars so that, on a large scale, highway traffic becomes smoother. To make this a bit more concrete, imagine you're on your way to a job interview, driving along the highway, and you start approaching a vehicle up ahead. If you can't pass them, then the best thing you can do is to try to match their speed. But if you've been in this situation before, you know that this is a bit difficult, and you have to speed up and slow down every so often in order to maintain a safe distance between you and them. And at best, your speed tends to oscillate about some average. Now, what would happen if there was somebody driving behind you, also trying to match your speed? What tends to happen, and what is predicted by that equation, is that their speed will tend to oscillate about your average, but with a higher amplitude. And this problem gets worse and worse, the more vehicles are driving behind you. And mathematically, what we would say is that the ideal configuration, where everybody drives at the same speed and gets their destination as smoothly as possible, is unstable. Now, the goal is to design self-driving cars so that that configuration becomes stable. And my research will help make this happen. To be more precise, the collection of all vehicles in my hypothetical road is an example of a dynamical system. And my research is in part devoted to the development of mathematical tools that can be used to determine whether a given configuration of a dynamical system is stable or unstable. And if it's unstable, how best to stabilize it. I'm especially interested in systems that exhibit time delays and impulses. And time delays are exactly what you would think they are. If it takes me 150 milliseconds to react to the vehicle in front of me changing speed, then that's a 150 millisecond delay. Impulses, on the other hand, are good for at modeling such things as adaptive cruise control systems that can switch very quickly between their different modes of operation. The other big part of my research is bifurcation theory. And this is the study of how the behavior of a dynamical system can change when one of its configurations transitions from stable to unstable. And these transitions can have really big consequences. For example, bifurcations in traffic systems can result in configurations where rear-end collisions are much more likely to occur. Now, I've been talking a lot about traffic dynamics, but my research has applications far beyond this, as problems of stability and dynamical systems are everywhere, from the design of safe and sustainable agricultural pest control strategies to determining optimal dosage intervals of HIV and AIDS treatments. In summary, my research has the potential to improve our lives in numerous ways. Chief among which, of course, is keeping our roads safe and our commutes smooth and stress-free. Thank you very much for your time.